bit of a review of uh, we're attacking. Basically, we've been attacking. Um, so from this guard position, we had our attacks on this arm. We've been attacking this leg. Now I'm going to move over to attacking this leg. Different things we can do uh, due to this leg from this position. So we started yesterday with this. And um, I want to go on. I'm going to do a quick review of, uh, of how to enter from yesterday. And then go to a different sort of finish from here that we have. Um, just a quick review for people who haven't had this uh, position explained to me. Um, what I'm doing is I have a half guard hook here, which I'm wrapping my foot around this shin. I'm not just got my foot here in the air. Exactly, because he can do that. I'm wrapping my shin around it so that I have better control of this leg. This foot's coming in. I'm basically resting it here on my own calf. And this is a butterfly hook that I can use to elevate. And my other arm is coming in here for an underhook so that if he tries to smash my knees together, I have a lock. Okay? So, and I want to be posted up. I don't want to be like this. Okay? So this is our basic structure. And, um, we're going it from the position that he tries to cross face me with this arm. Just a quick review as well. If he tries to cross face me with this arm, go ahead. No, cross face, cross face. Yeah. If he tries to cross face me with this arm, he basically gives me this. Swing. That's why he will not cross face with that arm. You're in the camera. <laughs> okay? So um, that's why he won't cross face me with that arm. If he tries to come in with an underhook on this arm, he basically gives me this sweep. So he's not going to underhook me with that arm either because those two basically give me sweeps and let me just immediately improve my position. That's why when he's going to try and smash me in the position, he's going to smash me with this hand, uh, this arm in the cross face. Yep, exactly. I can't really, the cross face keeps me from being able to sweep him like this and this arm, exactly. This is a post on this side, so now I have to do something different to get out because I can't just sweep him from here. He has too good a base and he's nullified all my sweeps. So this hand takes this sort of an L and comes in here. My other hand comes under and does the same. So I have both of my hands here and the little web here of my hand is in his armpit. I unhook this leg and place it on the ground. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick with this leg, bridge with this leg, and I want to shove his arms in this direction over my head. I don't want to go this way, because now I'm just helping his cross face. So, and everything together comes up like this. And like I said, we've been attacking this leg, because if his leg is light, I can just go into leg attacks. So we're going to assume he's a bit smarter now, and he knows I'm going to attack this leg. So he shifts his weight over and puts lots of weight here. Now I can't really collapse his leg anymore. He's got too much weight on it. So this is when I attack this leg instead. That's why I say the far side leg, because it's on the far side. So I take this hook, bridge here, and I make that leg light. Get it in the air, bring my leg in, pull it in, and go to a figure four. From here I can start with you. Okay. Like I said, we did that yesterday, so it's more of a review. You were there, but the rest of you weren't, which is why we're reviewing it, because we're going to be doing this entry a lot. This is an entry you're going to see a lot from this position when we attack that leg. Okay, so just show you one more time.
Chris and Young are actually kind of stumbling across this one already, so I think it's a good time to bring this one up. So Zelda started at the same starting position. <laughs> kind of switched over to German there. So, and I do the exact same entry. I come here, we're in the same situation. I get that leg up. I come here, and now we're doing a situation where what if he crosses his feet? Cross. Yeah, 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 crosses his feet. Because now, if I try to heal up in here, it's gone. I don't have a heal up from here. Okay? So, um, turn on. I just want to make sure that. Let's go closer to the camera, too. <laughs> I just want to make sure we can get this in detail. Okay? So, we're actually not wearing the best of colors for this either. So, so anyway, so um, I have two situations here. First thing, what you do not want to do, because I see a lot of people do this, is doing this. Because, yeah, exactly. Well, no, just shove me, shove, uh, shove my shoulders to the ground. Stand up. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm getting past. Okay? So when I'm in this position and he's crossed his feet, do not turn your back to him. Okay? Rule number one. You want to be able to see him because now if he tries to stand up, I can, I can keep him down. Okay? And if I'm turned like this, I can't do that anymore. Okay, so rule number one, keep your eyes on your opponent. So, and I have two different ways I can finish him from here. The first one, if I'm dead set and I need to do the heel hook, what I can do is from here, I bring my elbow here between his legs, peel off the, peel the heels out, and I can find the heel like this, okay? So it's a pretty easy one, and again, this lets me keep him, yeah, yeah. This lets me keep him in my sight, okay? That's the first one. The second one, let's say I don't feel like doing that much work. I just come in here, reach through, grab my own hand. I bring my hands to my chest. Yeah. <laughs> and this is kind of cool because you can actually get if you can get the leg here and start turning, yeah, I get a combination of calf pressure, knee bar, with this foot, I've got a little bit of a straight foot lock, and I'm twisting this heel a bit as well. All crush up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm crushing like four or five different body parts with this. <laughs> this is not pleasant. <laughs> okay, so those are your two options. Like I said, we're going with the same entry. Same exact situation, now when he's just crossing his foot, which is a common heel hook defense, and it's actually a very good one, okay? Really easy to do, and now the heel hook is gone. Even, no, let me get it. Even if I get the heel hook, <coughs> heel hook's gone. I cannot heel hook him like this, okay? So, option one, knee between the legs, take it back, separate the feet, and go for your heel hook. Option number two, leave the legs together, reach under, grab your own hands, and twist. Okay, those are your two options. Okay, clear what I want? Yep. Entry, exactly the same, no difference. Okay, you are just, he is just reacting different to protect his legs, and you are using that to do a different, uh, to do a different entry to your submissions, okay? So, give this a try. <laughs> 